Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Blair McNally and this is my £10 Club Wembley experience. Wrexham vs Bromley in the FA Trophy Final. Join me on my travels for my second day in London. We have landed, we're in Wembley for the second day. I am here. Introduce yourself for Zach, people that don't I'm know. I'm Jack, how's it going, mate? So, yeah, here we Jack. Jack, fellow Thistle fan. We love a good bat of Thistle. Exactly. We've landed in Wembley and look at the view for the second day in a row. So we're walking along Wembley Way. Uh, you're unfortunately in the Bromley end. I'll be sitting in the wet direction today. Separate ends today, mate. Separate ends. Aye. Mate. Question is, what do you think the score's going to be? I'm going to go for two each, all the way to penalties. Yep. I'm going to go for two nil direction. I think it's going to be a comfortable one. A comfortable one for the. I'm going to go with Jack. We're going to go and interview some fans and we'll see what they're saying. <laughs> So kicking off now. <laughs> right, we're well, here. Introduce yourself. What's your name? Oh, I Lam. And big Wrexham fan. Yeah. What does this mean to you today? Oh, to win this. Is... Uh, the last time I went was in 2013, I think, to Wembley, to watch every trophy final. We won it. Yeah. To win it today will mean the world to me. Like, it will, <laughs> it'll be amazing. Wrexham are just constantly on the up, on yeah. the up. But this, to win a trophy at Wembley, as you've already said, doesn't compare to anything, does it? So, today, who who we to look out for? I think you got to look out for, um, I'm saying Davis. Yeah. But, to be fair, I think O'Connor might score. Yeah? I think you will. What's your score prediction? I think 2-0 Wrexham. 2-0 Wrexham. Enjoy the game, thank you very much. Hey Jack. Hey, love you, love you. Jack, mate, mate, enjoy the enjoy game. Enjoy the game. Morning Bromley. Ah, morning Wrexham. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, we're off. We're on to the stadium. Um, as I said, Wrexham, they're in the playoffs. They're looking good this season. Bromley not so much. So, it's massive for both sides. Absolutely giant. We just need to get into the ground. We've heard what the Rexham fans want to say and let's see how the game goes. I've missed the final earlier on today, but I'll explain a wee bit more as to why that was. It's a wee bit to do with Bevy and Sunderland. Oh, this is quite nice. Jesus. Jesus, that is nice. <laughs> Club Wembley in there. I only paid a tenner for this ticket. What? Yeah, with two Wrexham fans, introduce yourself. What's your names? Uh, Gareth. This Red. is Gareth from Red. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday. I, I'm 48 today, and I'm here to watch the town. Happy birthday to Red. Red! Wrexham! Right. Wrexham! Right. Wrexham! Question is, can they get a result on your birthday? Yes, yeah, of course we can. How big? Wrexham, it's been 25 years since I watched Wrexham, and then I've come to Wembley now, my son's bought me a ticket, and I'm here today, and we're going to do it. Wrexham are going to win this cup. 3-0 Wrexham. 3-0 Wrexham. What do you think? I reckon 2-0 Wrexham. 2-0. Paul Mullins. Ollie Palmer, job done. Thank you very much. Have a great birthday. Enjoy yourself. Oh my goodness. This is nice. This is mental. Look at this. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness. I feel ten pound. Ten pound. 
This is far too boozy for football. Cheers, mate. is mental. <laughs> I'm getting full club experience for a tenner. 
Look at Shane. This is mad. I did actually pay for that, so yeah, don't, don't be too silly. Right, so before I give you the first half review, uh, we've got a wee treat here. Um, I'm not going to even tell you the price because it's expensive, and I'll tell you at the end of the video the price, but yeah, I kind of treated myself today. Uh, currently sitting in the lounge, Piri Piri Chicken of Giant Couscous. Let's give it a taste test. Football's been that rubbish, I might just stay here. Let's try the couscous. I'm, I'm not going back to the football, I'm staying, I'm staying here. Oh, thank you, England. And just to add to it, I've just been given a free baby. Come on. I love this place, I'm coming back, definitely. Wonder how much it would be for an England game. Not allowed to take your drink in, so I think for now we'll just watch the game on the TV. <laughs> Question is, do I stay here or do I go back out? <laughs> oh, it's so comfortable in here. Oh, I could just stretch my legs. My albino legs. Right, it's the 60th minute. I guess I might go out. <laughs> Thank you. Stop, something's happened. <laughs> Long so long. 
Last chance for Wrexham. Good keepers up. Cromwell champions. To be honest with you, congratulations to Bromley. To be honest, they were fully deserved. Bromley turned up, Wrexham didn't, and Bromley got the goal that they deserved. So, yeah, today it is an emotional day for me. I'm looking around me just now. The spaces that I've come in six months, not even five months because of you guys, it's unbelievable. I think a, a year ago, I was sitting in the house watching the FA Trophy. Final dreaming, I'm going to watch it. And now I'm sitting in Wembley after watching Sun Sunderland get promoted. And now watching the FA Trophy. I've done it all myself. I'm sitting in the middle of Wembley, 19,000 stadium, biggest stadium I've ever been in my life. It's mad, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you for your support. It means the world to me. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing better and bigger things. So. What I'll do, I'll catch you in a wee bit and I'll give you a full review of my remarkable match day experience here at Wembley Stadium. <laughs> There's no way that's the World Cup from 1966. No way. Tell me if I'm wrong. Wow, what an experience, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how to put that into words. Um, I'm back, I'm back in my own house now, back from my wonderful trip to London, and yeah, what a unique day and experience I will never forget. Wembley, brilliant, unbelievable, I did not expect that at all, for £10, you cannot ask for any more at all. 
Um, to the people that uh, did want me to go to the earlier FA Vaz final, I do apologise. I wasn't able to make that. It was at quarter past 12 for kickoff. By the time I got home from uh, Trafalgar Square the night before, it was about one o'clock. By the time I edited the video and had it out, I wasn't sleeping till eight o'clock in the morning. So, blame the Sunderland fans for me not getting two finals in one day, as I said. But, yeah, still managed to get the FA Trophy final. So, yeah, you know how we do. Five factors I'm going to be reviewing. The match day experience at Wembley. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we have football. How was the football? Uh, Wrexham failed to show up. Um, they had a bumper crowd. What a support they brought. Wrexham always have a wonderful support, so Wrexham fans, well done. But, yeah, it was a flat performance from both sides. But, all in all, I think Bromley did deserve it. So, congratulations, Bromley, and well done. Uh, for the football, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Second, we have Price. So... If I could give this a thousand out of ten, I would. If I could give this a million out of ten, I would. Ten pounds to sit in padded seats. That's all I need to say to you. Forget everything else that was included. And I'm still not sure if that was a World Cup trophy or if it was Bobby Muir's World Cup trophy. If you know, comment down below and let me know. But wow, the video just speaks for itself. Uh, price, I am going to give that a ten out of ten. Right, third, we have Atmosphere. So, the atmosphere was impressive to go in with, to start with. Boone, the English National Anthem, obviously off to a good start. <laughs> um, and then the Welsh National Anthem was ruptured. Oh, it was unbelievable. Um, very, very loud, but that was the loudest it got all game. I think the players and the team had a lot to do with that from the flat performance, but the Wrexham fans failed to get going, yeah. It was pretty flat, so... Um, Bromley fans weren't much better as well. It, it was pretty quiet. It wasn't the best. So in that case, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. The only reason I'm giving it a 7 is because Wrexham did have a group behind the goal that kept going. So well done to you guys, if that's you. Second last, we have food. So you will not find anything better or bigger at the football than this. Um, I don't think any stadiums around the world serve something like this. This was four star food <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes when I was seeing it giant couscous and piri piri chicken thighs piri piri marinated chicken thighs with a wee bit of mint on the top it's mad isn't it I just wanted a steak pie and a capri a scotch pie and a capri sun but yeah um, I need to give that a 10 out of 10 because that's just incredible don't know if I agree with it being at the football I think it's quite upper class but Hey ho, I'm not complaining because it was beautiful. Okay, so last we have facilities. What were the facilities like? Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Wembley Stadium, you can just tell as soon as you walk up to it. Starting with Wembley Way all the way up. Like Wembley Way is the best walkway uh, up to a stadium I've ever seen. It's incredible. Um, and then you get into the stadium, you can tell why it is a world-class venue and it's, it's world-renowned, one of the best stadiums in the world. And it, it pains me to say that, being from Scotland, but it is. It's, it's remarkable. And there's a, there's a reason why it did host the Euro final in the summer just there. Um, good thing Italy won. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, all in all, it was just unbelievable and it was an experience I'll never forget. So, facilities, I'm going to give a 10 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, that is me for, I was going to say another week, but it's not another week. I've got something very special planned for you, coming very soon. What day is it today? In the next three days? Four days? Yep, you're going to enjoy this one. It's a good one. So, keep your eyes peeled, click that notification button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Um, give the button, give the wee like button a tick as well, if you enjoyed the video. And keep an eye on the channel, because I have got stuff. Very, very fun coming this summer as well with some good guests. So, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.